So what is the middle letter in the Holy Torah? Let's try to see. In the Gemara Masechet Kiddushin we learn that the letter Vav in the word Gachon in our parasha, Parashat Shmini, is half of the letters of the Torah. Bezat Hashem we're going to stick to that opinion. In the Holy Zohar it was stated, there, and we're going to translate it freely, Shalosh Darkot, the three levels that are connected one another with, with, the, with the other, Hashem blesses the Holy Torah, and Klal Yisrael. If you're going to look on the inner name of the Hashem blesses Shem, Yud, and then Hey, Vav, Hey, there are three possibilities for the letter Vav. One of them is Vav, Yud, Vav, the other two are Vav, Ale, Vav, and the fourth, fourth, which is the third, is Vav and Vav. The numerical value of each one of them, Vav, Yud, Vav, 22, Vav, Aleph, Vav, 13, and Vav, and Vav, 12. 13, compare and parallel to Hashem, blesses you. Hashem, Echad, Echad, numerical value of 13. 22, 22 letters are in the Torah, parallel to the Holy Torah, and 12, compared to the Holy Tribes, 12 tribes, Compared and parallel to Klal Yisrael. In our parasha, it says on Aaron, and I will, Bezat Shem, going to translate it. Okay? Vayakrev et amincha vayamalecha po mimena vayaktera la mizbeach. And he brought near the meal offering, and he filled his palm from it. And Rashi explained to us what that means. That means, vayamalecha po, this is the kmitza, the avoda in the beta. Mikdash, and we're going to try to come to it in a second, Bezad Hashem. And in our parasha, later on, it says, Kol olech al gachon, gachon, the middle letter is vav, gachon, it's hint to the serpent, to the snake. And in the depth of the Torah, in the middle mamash of the Torah, that's where it's mentioned and hinted, the evil inclination, and come to teach us that what is the way that each one of us need and can and should overcome the evil inclination and all his army and options and ways in the history the letter of Vav that teach in its three option of feeling on the connection that's never stopping between Hashem blesses the, the Holy Torah and Klal Yisrael and how we're going to bring this idea into fulfillment when there is unity and love between Klal Yisrael and to the Holy Torah Right away, Hashem blesses He, unite with us. And we learn how it's in our power, each one of us, to fulfill it. Exactly for the Kmitzah that's mentioned also in our parasha. The Kmitzah are done by three different fingers here. Each one of them is different kind of height. And then the coin God will bend them, bend them down. When these different fingers, three Vav, Compared to each one of us, we are in different abilities, height, and understanding. When we're not going to judge one another, when, when we're bending and love one another, then we are equal. And right away, we give to our friends and we join together. And when Klal Israel together, we said, we join into the Holy Torah, Hashem joining us. And then Be'ezat Hashem, we're going to be able to merit the full redemption. And we're going to remi remind ourselves the words of the Mishnah. Omdim tzfufim, mishtachavim revuchim. When a person in the Avodah of the Bet Amidash, we would go in the Reganim, and we would be standing straight, not bend ourselves, not try to give away from us and accept others. There is no room in the Bet Amidash even. But when we would bend ourselves, like in the Kmitzah, level our ourselves, three letters above, Hashem, Torah, and Israel, when we are understanding that we are equal and one, so to say, we're going to be able to merit the full redemption. Nachat Ruach Klal Israel, love one another, love and learn and fulfill the Torah and the words of Hashem, and we're going to see the miracles in our eyes. Nachat Ruach Klal Israel, Parashat Shmini.